And very quickly, my humbly and respectfully invite the chairman of today's occasion, Engineer Adoke Tombomie, to kindly give us the opening remark and keynote address for this event. Please, a round of applause for him, please. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to stand and already establish protocols. Uh, once again, before I go on with my keynote address, I want us to give a rousing applause to our sister Ivy for, for taking a bold step to organize such an occasion. It's very cozy for her to choose the big job. I come back soon. Capital City to host this means uh, she has got. I mean, the block comes. Having said that, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored sure. to address you today at this extinct 2024 Red Bull event, particularly focusing on the crucial theme of sustaining progress in the Niger Delta and shared responsibility. As we gather here today, we are reminded of the critical importance of collaboration and collective action in ensuring the continued advancement and development of the Niger Delta region. The challenges we face are complex and multifaceted, requiring a unified effort from all stakeholders to drive sustainable progress and positive change. Today, I would like to highlight few key aspects that are essential for sustained progress in the Niger Delta. Entrepreneurship is the lifeblood of economic development and innovation. It is essential that we empower the next generation of leaders in the Niger Delta. I think we've said this for too long. We need to go into action so that they can become entrepreneurs, job creators, and change makers, and not beggars. By providing them with access to mentorship, training, and resources, we can unlock their potential and enable them to drive economic growth and development in our region, particularly where in the world where fossil fuel is being campaigned that it should be phased out. So what do we do beyond oil? The Niger Delta is brimming with all tapped potential and investment opportunities across various sectors, including oil and gas, agriculture, manufacturing, and renewable energy. It is crucial that we attract both local and foreign investors to harness this potential and stimulate economic growth. Those of us here will have the potentials to do that. By creating a conducive business environment, promoting transparency, and offering incentives, we can attract the investment needed to drive sustainable development in our region. Through, like I've earlier said, innovation, inclusivity and a commitment to transparency and good governance. We can overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of progress by working together. We can also harness the immense potential of the Niger Delta leveraging its natural resources, which we have overemphasized, and human capital to create a prosperous and resilient society for generations to come. The Niger Delta is also blessed with very rich cultural heritage, breathtaking natural landscapes, the diverse ecosystems that hold immense tourism, tourism potential. By promoting sustainable tourism practices, we will preserve our cultural heritage and invest in tourism infrastructure. This we can do by leveraging these resources that will create jobs, like I earlier said, will also generate revenue and promote environmental conservation in the region. In the tapestry of our society, women and youth represent the vibrant trends that hold our communities together. They are the untapped reservoirs of talent. They are the untapped reservoirs of creativity. 
they have been tapped with the reservoirs of energy that can drive economic growth and social progress in the Niger Delta. However, all too often, they are marginalized and excluded from opportunities for development and advancement. Therefore, it is imperative that we prioritize the empowerment of women and the youth through targeted skill development programs. First, by investing in education, training, and capacity building initiatives. We can unlock these potentials in these persons and enable them to become active participants in the economic transformation of the region. When women and youth are equipped with the tools they need to succeed, they not only uplift themselves, but also uplift their families, communities, and the entire region. I call upon all stakeholders, government agencies, and private sector partners, civil society organizations, and the international community to join hands in creating this conducive environment for the empowerment of women and youth and their Delta. Let us provide them with access to quality education, vocational training entrepreneurship, opportunities and mentorship programs like I earlier stated. Let us break down barriers and stereotypes that hinder their progress and unleash their boundless potential to drive sustainable development. Beyond individual empowerment, the collective strength of communities lies in their ability to come together, like we're doing today, collaborate, and work towards common goals. Community development initiatives play a vital role in fostering social empowerment, building resilience, and enhancing the quality of life for all residents in the Niger Delta region. No single entity can address the complex challenges facing the Niger Delta alone. It is imperative that the stakeholders are essential to address this, which I have earlier said, and face, as facing the region all over. By pooling resources, sharing knowledge, like we're doing today, and leveraging expertise, we can implement sustainable solutions that have a lasting impact on the well-being of our communities. By working together towards shared goals, we can also leverage our collective expertise, the resources, and of course, network to drive positive change and advance regional development. Ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely urge all of us to embrace a spirit of partnership and cooperation in our community development initiatives. Let us prioritize decision-making processes, transparent governance structures, and equitable resource allocation. Let us engage with local leaders, grassroots organizations, and community members to ensure that our interventions are responsive to their needs and aspirations. Let us reaffirm our dedication to the principles of unity, equity, and sustainable development as we chart a course towards a brighter tomorrow for the Niger Delta. Together, we can build a region that thrives economically, preserves its cultural heritage, and safeguards its economic environment for the benefit of all. In conclusion, I'm urging everyone here for us to embrace our own shared responsibility so that we can actively contribute to the sustainable progress of our region. Let us stand together in solidarity, determined to create a future that is prosperous, inclusive, and environmentally sustainable for all. On that note, I want to congratulate Eve Africa for inviting us. And I wish there were these a big congratulations because it's not easy for you to be recognized for what you do in your different fields. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to chair this occasion, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we can give the chairman a bigger round of applause for this wonderful opening remark and keynote address. Just like he said, the tick away, is a collective shared responsibility from each and every one of us here. In our own individual spaces, we've been doing well, but collectively, we can achieve more. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this time, just like the chairman said, congratulating all the awardees, let me quickly say at this time that the chairman will be the first to be awarded this afternoon. So please, a round of applause. May I have him re-invited at this time? for an appreciation from Eve Afrique on this beautiful event. 
Congratulations, sir. And to present this award of appreciation to him, let me humbly invite Mrs. Ify Paul to do this presentation. Please a round of applause for her place as she makes her way out. himself in his own feud. He had done so much for himself and for the Niger Delta. It's a big congratulations to you, sir. Please, one more time, a round of applause for him, please.